Breaking tonight, Tennessee football and the rest of the SEC will be moving to a conference only schedule for football this fall. The Vols will also see a later start to the season. The decision comes after SEC school presidents met today. 10 sports anchor Luis Fernandez has more on what led to this decision. Luis. Robin, this was Tennessee football schedule this year going into today, and this is what it looks like now. Some games missing. Tennessee will drop Charlotte, Oklahoma, Furman, and Troy as the SEC moves to a conference-only schedule. So now, the SEC will start its season on September 26th with that 10-game conference-only schedule. There will be two open dates for each school, one in the middle of the season and one on December 12th. Each school will add two more conference opponents. A revised schedule for the 2020 SEC football season will be announced at a later date. The conference championship, by the way, Vogue fans circle that one, will be moved back to December 19th as well. SEC Commissioner Greg Sankey says in a statement, this gives universities the months of August and September to adjust to school with COVID-19, and it gives the SEC the opportunity to be flexible with scheduling should there be problems with the virus with the 14 schools in the conference. Now, Director of Athletics Philip Fulmer said in a statement, a tremendous amount of thought and discussion went into making what we believe is a responsible decision on scheduling format, and it's exciting to be making progress towards competition. Our student athletes and coaches are working hard to prepare while prioritizing health and safety. So what's next? Neyland Stadium. Fulmer said UT will coordinate with state and local officials on game day attendance, quote, understanding that potential limitations could change from week to week once the season begins. The season, by the way, Robin, is finally starting to take shape. I'll send it back to you.